for them to be able to use. Our competitors must actually be asked to put investment in the ground, not big numbers which they just say, but numbers that translate into base stations, fiber connectivity to their base stations and actually offer a service. If they do that, they may actually be shocked and see a change in how the market structure is. Again, Chair, um, we feel that the retail price measures that are being proposed by the Communications Authority through the competition uh, report are unfair to Safaricom's customers and investments. Asking Safaricom to not participate in selling uh, bundles and offers the way everyone else is selling is asking us to go back to our headline rate, which means we'll appear to be more expensive and customers will be forced to migrate. That is not competition. That is tying someone's hand and saying, you know, go and play in the same game with someone who's got both hands. We think that's not the right direction to take. On mobile money, Chair, I think it is important for us to clarify very important facts which uh, may have been glossed over in previous submissions. One, mobile money agents in Kenya are not exclusive to Safaricom. They have not been exclusive to Safaricom for over four years. We actually gave up exclusivity on each and every one of them over four years ago. At that time, Chair, we had 88,000 M-Pesa agents. Today we have 150,000 agents. We took the burden of saying even if we have taken the cost of training these agents, recruiting them, training them because we have to train them, we get CBK uh, manuals, they have to be trained on anti-money laundering, KYC, we provide insurance for them, we provide security for some of the larger ones of them, and we say that is a lot of cost that we've put in there. And someone does not want to undertake that cost, they want to ride on that cost. Instead of going to the next shop that has a Kenyan who can be employed by them, they want to come and use what Safaricom has plowed. But we said, okay, fine, go ahead. Now what we are hearing as a proposal being tabled before this uh, honorable committee is that they want to have access to Safaricom's float so that they come and have their customers taking money from M-Pesa. I don't know where this happens. It does not happen anywhere not even with the big merchants who are well established throughout the world. And I'm talking about uh, MasterCard, SWIFT, Western Union, Visa, the really big merchants. It would be incredibly complex to have someone come and take 5,000 shillings from one network, uh, 2,000 shillings from another network. The reconciliation alone would lead to us having something of a clearing house. This would take us back to the check system where someone has to see whether the check is backed up by money on the other end. It would be incredibly complex and expensive. That cost for a clearing house or any other system like that would go somewhere. Invariably, it will go to the consumer. Still on that uh, chair, the float that we have and which uh, is actually what M-Pesa is, is actually backed by real cash. So if I send um, Bob a thousand shillings, virtually, I have deposited that a thousand shillings in the M-Pesa system. If we have a system, a, 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 a situation where someone, a third party comes and take that money out of uh, circulation because they have to get their customers' uh, money um, uh, honored by M-Pesa, we have an imbalance where the virtual money is not equivalent to the actual cash that is held within the bank. This is something new and this is some territory which has not been tested. It is being suggested again out of convenience by our competitors who are not even prepared to roll out their own agents network. Now they want us to roll out the agents network and also to fund their customers. There has to be a limit to how much we can stretch this thing. And we are saying the limit is here. This product is recognized or approved by the central bank. It is like almost overnight lending. And if we use the same analogy with uh, Interconnect, they pay us after two or three months. With mobile money services which have a very high velocity, there will be an imbalance in being able to honor some of the payments. And that's a concern for us. Quickly, Chair, yeah. national roaming. Yes, please, uh, because we are two more points. Time. Uh, two more points okay. and I'm done. National roaming. 
uh, very quickly, we think this will ensure that uh, this particular intervention will allow us to carry, will force us to carry traffic for our competitors. That might be the case and it may well be passed. However, what is their obligation to roll out their services? Why are we carrying their traffic? It means that they do not have investments in those particular areas. This is something which they should also be given an obligation to do. And Mobile termination rates were clear on that. Just to highlight that if they push for zero MTR, the cost that I mentioned in cards to deliver a call to a com uh, competitor network does not disappear. That cost is just shifted around, which in this case may go to the, to the customer. Chair, I think the rest we have covered in the report and I think I will rest at that point and allow for the next stage based on your directions. Thank you. Good. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your presentation. <clears throat> uh, members uh, will give each member an opportunity, at least five minutes, a maximum of five minutes to ask you all your questions, uh, and we'll take four or five. Uh, we can take five so that we can go uh, two rounds. <clears throat> uh, what I just wanted to do with you.